Hello and welcome to this member spotlight with me, Kate Cherry. I'm the regional director of the Athena Network in Bedfordshire and St Albans. And we have with us Vicky Richmond of Your Wedding Friend. Hello, Vicky. Vicky's a member of the Luton Athena Group, aren't you? For four years, practically. You're in your fourth year, aren't you? Yeah. Yep. And so what we like to do is we're a business networking and development club for women female business owners and executives across Bedfordshire and St Albans and my areas and what I like to do is get online with some of our members to spotlight or highlight what it is they do so that we can send that out to the wider community and so that more people that need to hear about what they do can hear about what they do and so I'm going to jump straight in um, Vicky tell us about and I love your story because you started networking with me and in other areas I know as well, practically like the minute you were launching your business, weren't you? Because you knew how important that was. So we'll touch on that in a minute, but tell us about what you do, what your business is and how you help people. Um, so your wedding friend is, is just me and uh, it's wedding planning, but also events, any sort of social occasion really, but weddings is where my passion is. I absolutely adore a wedding. I'll often be seen at the back of a ceremony room bawling my eyes out because I really get invested in the weddings that I help plan and it's all, it's always been good fun. It's something I sort of stumbled into but realised that I loved really early on so yeah, love doing it. <laughs> and you've always been in events haven't you because you worked in events locally haven't you? So, so what is the local area that you serve? Um, it generally in person it's Hearts, Beds and Bucks. Uh, right. that, I'm based in Luton so I travel. But I say generally within an hour which I'm finding as I go on is much further than I thought <laughs> um, but I can I can plan remotely as well so uh, especially over this last weird and wonderful period of six months um, I've always been able to plan remotely so I'm not actually stuck to a location so um, I help plan weddings in Dorset and all over the place so oh, wow. if I can travel there and get there um, and, and stay there if someone wants to take me to Mauritius I'm more than happy to go <laughs> And it's not just we think wedding planning does it A to, A to Z the whole thing but actually the purpose of the title of your business is that that's not necessarily all you can do you can take part in part of it can't you is that right? Yeah absolutely uh, it's, it's one of the things I'm there to hold people's hand for as long as they need on whatever they need so for some people I will work through the whole from just after engagement all the way through to their wedding day and sometimes beyond that as well um, but also, uh, for some people, it's the last minute um, panic attack. They need lots of help. They've realised the venue won't let them in until 10am and they get married at 12 and that sort of thing. Um, so I can do on the day support as well. But yeah, I'm literally there for anything that anyone needs. That's that helping hand aspect of what you do that you tell us about in our meetings, isn't it? It, it doesn't have to be the person who, you know, we imagine those Hollywood movies with the, um, you know, swishly dressed <laughs> Ginny Minnie with a clipboard bossing everyone around, but that's not you. You're the, the emphasis is on friend, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's more like a fairy godmother. I beaver about in the background making sure everything gets put together where yeah. it's supposed to be when it's supposed to be there. And, um, yeah, I, 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 I'm not glamorous enough to be the kind of Jennifer Lopez type person and, and I certainly don't steal, steal people's uh, partners, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, you won't see me wearing a headset and running around with a radio generally, um, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm beavering about in the background and I'll, I'll t occasionally turn up with a tissue in the middle of the day when things start to get a bit emotional and that sort Having, of Being in tune to know what exactly what it is the bride needs at what point, you're not just ticking boxes. And you must have an incredible database of providers and suppliers for people to tap into. Yeah. I know when I got married, it was just like Google and we barely used Google then really, because it was, well, we did, but it's 2003, so. When I got married, Google didn't exist. It, yeah, really. <laughs> it literally had to be word of mouth. And that's what people like, though, is, is, is trusting people that, um, that uh, someone like me can recommend because they know I've worked with them or I've at least vetted them to some degree so that I can say this person is reliable and do what you actually ask for. If you go on Google and read people's reviews, that's fantastic, but it doesn't necessarily get you the ideal person for you. You know, if you look for a photographer, there are millions of them. So how do you, you know, narrow that list down? And I can help with that because I know what their styles are like. I know what they are like as personalities. So my recommendations come with a lot more behind them than just here's the people from my little black book. Perfect. I mean, I, 
Google ads can be a nightmare. I was looking for something in really, really specific the other day and contacted the ad that popped up at the top because it was saying half the right words, contacted them and they don't at all do what I was searching for. Um, so often what's at the top isn't even relevant to your search. So you need someone like you who actually knows the people, the thing, the subject matter, because you only do it once getting married, don't you? Hopefully. Although I know some people who've done it three or four times. Why not? Um, so how did you start your business and what's your background? Um, well, many years ago, I started out um, studying theatre. I was going to be a pilot and I segued into theatre. A very good teacher swung me to the other side. Um, so I studied stage management and then I went into, from stage management, I went into uh, marketing in departments working on hiring out of um, stands at um, shopping centres and so uh, and then it, I went wanted to get back into the arts so I went back into arts and I worked for venues within Newton and um, suddenly the idea came up we should start a wedding service having never done that sort of thing before I was like mm, I don't know um, but looking into it and researching the venues, researching suppliers to help us out and all that sort of stuff, I've started to really enjoy it. And then uh, actually getting to work side by side with the couples at those venues, it was fantastic and it was a real light bulb moment for me. But I sort of got stuck in the idea of, oh, I could do this and that for you, but I can't as a venue person. And um, I really wanted to be able to help people in a gr greater depth than I could be in, in venues. So I took the decision in 2017 to make the break for freedom and uh, start my own business. And I've loved it ever since. And yeah, not being tied to one particular venue. Um, I can recommend all sorts of venues for all sorts of reasons that are more appropriate for some people than others. And uh, yeah, and I've absolutely adored it ever since. It's been a real eye opener, <laughs> uh, but it's been really good fun as well. Yeah. It's been amazing watching your journey too. And right from that beginning, because it was just before you officially left work and launched that you joined our Luton group, didn't you? So that's kind of, I know why you joined Athena, because it was like you knew networking from your other job. So you knew it, why you needed to be out there. Um, but what have you enjoyed about it? What have you enjoyed about your Athena journey? I, I joined straight away because I, I'd already met uh, people within Athena and I came along to one of your Cappuccino Connections and the the connection in the room was automatic. It was uh, it was straight away I felt embraced by a community um, and I really needed that at the time, especially because everyone's nervous when they start a new business. So having that was fantastic and it's sort of... Um, you know, I'm still, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still with Athena because the, the community, some of the individual members might come and go, but the community feel is still there. And in terms of business support, it's been amazing for me. I've um, had lots of uh, free advice from people that have really kind of steered me in the right directions. Um, and been, um, yeah, it's just, it's just been an, an amazing supportive. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, this is the first recommendation I make to anybody that's starting out. Get out there, network and find your tribe because it's so much easier when you have got that tribe support behind you. Amazing, because you've got your industry groups, I guess, haven't you? Mm. There are lots of industry groups for weddings, photography and all of that, but this allows you to grow the network beyond that, getting hopefully into the ears and eyes of those about to tie the knot who need your help. Um, and the, just pure business support as well, because yeah. um, I can't afford to have an, an accountant full time. I can't afford to have, you know, so having all those different business people within the group and saying, oh, there's this little new tax thing that's come up um, that you might need to be aware of. If I wasn't in a membership group like Athena, I wouldn't hear about that advice. It's just not on my radar. And my, my wedding industry colleagues are fantastic. But they, those little snippets those nuggets of absolute pure gold from the people that are sitting in the room. I just, I couldn't have uh, got this point in my business without having that support there. Without paying a lot for it, I guess. Yeah. Um, so what um, advice would you give someone who, who does exactly what you've just done, which is start out uh, in business? <laughs> well, I said get out and network. Um, the other thing really for me was have a business plan. Um, Yes, you'll get lots of advice, but you may also get naysayers. 
So having a business plan, knowing who your ideal client is, your, your client avatar, and being clear with what that vision is and why you, you want that vision to become a reality. It's, it will help you through those times of, of doubts and uh, when other people are saying that you're doing it wrong and those sorts of things. If you've got a clear vision and a clear business plan, you know why, and it's all there on paper. There's nothing like having it written down. Um, so yeah, that's my, that's my big top tip. But. Amazing. What's next for you? What's next for your wedding friend and Vicky? Oh, it's a very exciting year next year. Um, everything that didn't happen this year, fingers crossed, we'll all be going ahead next year. So, um, yeah, we've been sort of tweaking things as we've been going along. So micro weddings are going to be a thing for a while now. Um, so slightly adapting the way that I work. Um, I'm doing more small package support rather than uh, full planning support, which is fantastic. It gives people the reassurance that, that they can drop in and out of my support as and when they need it. So um, that's been reassuring in the industry at the moment where some venues are coming and going, some suppliers aren't able to continue. So me being there and saying, come to me whenever you need me, has, has really helped people. So, and I see that going through most of next year. Fingers crossed we'll be able to have much bigger groups. Um, we don't know when. We're at 30 at the moment. Fingers crossed that will only continue in an upwards trajectory. <laughs> but we can only, you know, no one's got a crystal ball that can actually see what the future no. will hold. But in terms of the business, onwards and upwards, and um, continue to pivot when pivoting is required. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you, Vicky. Where's the best place for someone to be able to contact you? Um, I'm all over the place, but um, my website uh, is, is um, yourweddingfriend.co.uk um, or I'm found on um, Facebook, Your Wedding Friend. And Instagram, you're brilliant. On I know. My sneak peeks are on Instagram. <laughs> weddings are really um, visual and Instagram's a great place to be, I think, for mm. wedding stuff, isn't it? let me just come back to side by side screen because i'd made you big to focus on you thank you so much vicky for your time i love um something vicky said which is about um visualizing the avatar and we totally do in athena as well and we we know what we what membership we love to see how what behaviors we love to see and how people connect and how kind and listening they are um, and thank you for being that with us um and we're launching a new group actually if you're interested to hear how a bit more about how vicky has benefited in our groups then um we have a new group launching which might be right for someone you know who has challenges getting who will have challenges getting back in person and that is on the 20th of october it's a virtual athena group that is launching uh, otherwise vicky's group is luton which is the second tuesday of the month so come along and visit us if you're not uh, we have professional exclusivity so if you're not locked out then you're welcome to come and visit um, otherwise we have bedford woburn and two St Albans groups to choose from. So thank you so much. Vicky, thank you for your time. We'll get this out to everyone. I know, like I said to you, I've given your, your details to my neighbor who are having to do, it's the first time I'd heard the term micro wedding, um, but that's a good name for it. It's, uh, and, and some people are doing that and then something bigger next year, aren't they? But that's perfect. Thank you very much and take care. Um, and you can contact me uh, below or clicking above or wherever. <laughs> Thank you. Take care.